Hi everyone, I'm Ryan Reeve Morales, the lead producer of Champions Team. And with Silas the Unshackled just hitting live servers, a champion that finally delivers on the long requested ability to steal and use other champions' abilities, we thought it would be a great time to talk about some of the Champion Team's plans for the first half of 2019. Let's start with League's twin angels, Kale and Morgana. I talked a little bit about Kale a few months ago. As I mentioned before, this will be a full VGU where we build her art, audio, gameplay from the ground up to truly deliver on the Holy Angel fantasy that Kale embodies. While all her abilities will be altered or changed in some way, we do want Kale to still have the same overall feel as live Kale. For one, we will be keeping her an auto attack focused champion and building her kit around a core auto attack pattern. We also want to enhance the feeling of starting as a melee range champion and then ascending over the course of the game into a ranged hyper carry. We also want to preserve Kale's supportive side, so expect to see some form of a healing and invulnerability on the kit, even if they work differently than current Kale. Expect to see Kale in full light soon, but every light casts a shadow, which brings me to my next topic. In the last roadmap, I mentioned that we weren't sure if we were going to do any gameplay changes at all to Morgana. That being said, we still wanted to take this opportunity to explore if there were any small changes we could make to Morgana's kit to make it feel fresh. The goal of the changes will be to make it easier and more rewarding for Morgana to make plays with her ultimate in the late game, as currently it can feel like using her ult in the late game can be very risky and oftentimes just leads to her own death. Morgana is a champion loved by many players, and we wanted to give her new visuals, VO, animations to really make the Fallen Angel theme shine when she finally steps out of the shadows later this year. But now, it's time to talk about stuff that hasn't been announced yet. We have been hard at work on a whimsical new support champion. It's been a long time since we have released a more traditional Enchanter support, the last release being Nami. And given this, we thought it would be a perfect opportunity to make a new enchanter, one whose personality and theme will be complete 180 from our last support, Pike. While the new champion will be more traditional support, it won't be completely by the book, so as always, expect some new mechanics to get attached to as well. So now that that's out of the way, let's take the roadmap somewhere a bit more malicious and way more metal. That's right, if you haven't guessed it, I'm happy to finally announce that we'll be officially giving Mordekaiser a full VGU. This means we'll be completely building him from the ground up with new visuals, new kit, new VO, the fully armored package. Mordekaiser is a champion that has been highly requested by players for a full VGU for a long time. In all honesty, he needs a lot of work, so expect him to have a heavily updated gameplay kit. That being said, we do want to preserve the core identity as an AP juggernaut, we will be primarily targeting him as a solo laner, as after much discussion, we felt like the core fantasy of a brutal armored warlord of death felt like it matched that of a solo laner doing things by himself rather than a champion working with a partner in a duo lane. I mean, at the end of the day, Mordekaiser would rather send everyone he meets to his underworld kingdom rather than, you know, give them a shield. Stay tuned later this year for the next roadmap where I will go further into detail on Mordekaiser as well as talk more about some new champions we have in development, including a new assassin we are in very early stages on. I can't say anything more on that yet since we are pretty early on, but make sure you check out the next roadmap if you want to hear more.